Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 5.30. I'm Jamison Newler in for Paul this half hour. The back and forth with cruise ships and vaccines taking a step forward today. More cruise lines that leave from Florida ports are requiring people to be fully vaccinated. Our Lauren St. Germain joins us now in the studio with the latest developments that came down just a few hours ago, Lauren. Jameson, the big announcement today comes from the Disney Cruise Line. It will now require all passengers to be fully vaccinated for sailings to the Bahamas. The company made the adjustments so the cruises would be allowed into the ports, including private islands. Kids under the age of 12 will have to provide proof of a negative PCR test and will have to take another one at the terminal prior to boarding. The change comes after an emergency order that says cruise ships cannot dock in the Bahamas unless all passengers 12 and older can prove they are fully vaccinated. The order is in effect from September 3rd through November 1st. Experts in the industry predicted this may happen. Well, you might see little changes from ship to ship, from cruise line to cruise line. They've all been very consistent with the protocols being in place. And that's something that um, we're gonna continue to see evolve as we still kind of get through this pandemic. Royal Caribbean and Carnival made similar announcements requiring vaccinations. We have the details and statements from each company on our website, abcactionnews.com. And we did reach out to the governor's office for comments since Governor DeSantis has banned vaccine passports in the state, but we have yet to hear back.